In fact, the, the first change probably happened in Europe. It was uh, Jean-Claude Juncker, one of the president of, uh, of Europe at this time, said that we need to limit dependencies. With US technology, Intel, x86, the dominant cost time to push for, for something. At this time, ARM was still in Europe because it was a British company. It was before Sobank and before the Brexit. They say, let's, let's push a transition from x86 to, uh, to ARM. And out of this, they initiated multiple initiatives to develop some, let's say, compute expertise in Europe up to uh, ideally cheap production. So, so at this time, the smartphone era have already breaked up. So it was already a trending system and given to ARM. And all the smartphone, like huge majority of the smartphone was on ARM. I know that uh, there was a few try on other architecture, but ARM was, was making the market. Maybe here we can describe what is the work of ARM. So it's a British company. Oh, it was a British company. It was a British company. And what is the work of ARM? What, what does it produce? It's so-called an IP provider. An IP, intellectual property. It's an element of core technology you have to implement in your, in your solution. You can make that, for instance, you're buying a house, you need to have the, the brick or the tiny elements. You're not going to, to, to buy the house. As is, if you, if you want to build yourself, you, you build the different components. And ARM is providing some tiny elements in terms of IP and especially the compute core, which is what we are using in our, uh, with our processor on which you will uh, put on the software.